<laughs> oh yeah, good times here tonight. Oh boy. Fun at my place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a bath. This stuff really does work, guys. Like, it's a dollar at the dollar store. And it does smell like cotton candy. <laughs> Look at my beautiful mosquito bites. Aren't they pretty? Buddy, how you doing? I am having myself a guilty evening of pleasures and pains. I know, right? You're thinking, how X-rated is this gonna get? Well, let me tell you, not at all. <laughs> not one bit. Um, my pleasures have been, I spent, I don't know how long soaking in that big tub that you guys will See soon. Then I gave myself a pedicure and a manicure, and I um, exfoliated my face and my lips. And what else? Oh yes, moisturized and conditioned my hair, which is now in the process of drying, which is why it looks. Super crazy, and it, when it dries, it's gonna be pretty fuzzy till I, you know, do something with it. Um, so, shall we talk about something that most people don't want to talk about? Guys, if you're watching this video, you might want to exit now because I'm going to go a place no guy really wants to hear about. Well, I don't know. Maybe you do, but if you if you don't, you know, exit the video now. <laughs> okay, some of the pain that I put myself through tonight, ladies, is things that all of us are going to experience. And yes, you look young ladies, you 21, 22, 25, even 30 year olds, you have yet to look forward to this, ladies. That's correct. I'm talking about menopause, you know, the change of life. Things that happen to us that we're like, why? <laughs> like facial hair and removing it and the struggle to remove it. And what do you do? Wax, epilate, shave? Um, there's a jillion solutions to this problem, but honestly, I'm gonna tell you what I do and why. Okay, so I, I actually epilate and I wax. Now, when it comes to my facial hair, most of the time I will wax my face. If I'm in a real hurry, I'll go ahead and epilate. You know, if it gets, if I get a little bit of peach fuzz going on down here, or you know, that early, Aunt Bonnie got a mustache, you know, going on right here, I will attack it with the epilator. But when I have time to pamper and pleasure myself, I will, and pain myself, I will use the waxer, which is what I did tonight. 
So tonight I waxed my Aunt Bunny mustache, <laughs> my eyebrows, my little peach fuzz that shows up around here. Um, I don't get any chin hairs, although I've heard other women say they have them. God, I hope I don't get those. Um, anyway, so yes, and I didn't just do my face. I mean, I tortured myself the full end of the spectrum. I actually not only epilated my legs and my underarm area, which yes, it does kind of hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you. I also waxed the southern region, you know, down there, <laughs> which is real fun doing it to yourself, let me tell you. Um, but I don't like hair there. I'm sorry, maybe I'm weird, but uh, I don't think so. I think there's a lot of us that don't care for hair in that region, so I really like to keep it nice and tidy. So. Um, I waxed down there tonight too and honestly you know I, I'm sure that there's a whole bunch of ladies my age that don't you know they don't they shave or whatever they're afraid of waxing because they think it's really painful and I'm not gonna lie to you it can be painful but it's like anything else you after a while your body becomes like accustomed to some things and it's not near as bad the very first time that I waxed my face, I was like, why am I doing this? This is sheer torture. But honestly, there's benefits that come from um, waxing versus, you know, trying to shave those little peach fuzz hair off or whatever. Um, I found out with epilating like my legs and my arms, which I do full body epilating, um, the hairs, I don't hardly have any body hair anymore. There, You know, I used to be, I, I'm from Indian, Italian, German, Dutch. I'm a real Heinz 57, but I come from a lot of hairy people. <laughs> and and honestly, you know, back in my younger years, um, you know, I shaved and it was just a constant battle. It seemed like, you know, every other day. Uh, and they be real thick and dark and very noticeable and so I really got tired of that so I've actually been epilating and waxing for quite a few years at least 10 years maybe longer probably longer at any rate I've noticed that I really don't have hardly any hair that grows on my legs um, or even in the southern region anymore um, the more you do it the more you encourage the hair growth to stop, believe it or not. It's just kind of like plucking your eyebrows. You know, as, as we age, you notice our hair doesn't come back in if you over pluck. Well, it's, it's the same thing with your facial hair. It's the same thing with your pubic hair, your body hair. It's all the same. Um, it all behaves the same way. So if you're pulling it out by the root, eventually, at some point, it stops, it stops coming. So. Um, you know, I, I know that it can be not so pleasant, but um, honestly, I look at it as one of those pains that has a pretty good payoff because I don't have to go in the bath or the shower or whatever and shave every other day, which that's just, that's too much work if you ask me. I mean, and honestly, cutting yourself is way, way more painful than epilating or waxing in my opinion. With epilating or waxing, yes, you go through a little bit of pain while you're doing it. However, the long-term payoff, in my opinion, is much better. So that's my little beauty tip for anybody who's watching tonight. Um, sorry guys, if you sit through this whole thing, <laughs> kudos to you. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is just gonna be a little bit more vlogging. I will check back with you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go deal with the puppies and do a perimeter check because it's evening. Um, I'm not sure what time it is, but I always do a perimeter check and it is time to let the puppies out. So I will be back in a minute. Thought I'd let you guys see what I'm doing. So this is a perimeter check and can you see those guys? <laughs> yeah. 
maybe if I turn, maybe I need to turn the camera, the light off. I don't know. I want to be. See a little guy here? His eyes are glowing. He's shedding out of his baby fuzz. So yeah. What you doing, little one? Mm hmm. Little guy. He says no, no, no. On my terms. My terms only. So we'll just go out here and check everything. Look down. The... It's so dark and creepy. Snorting horses. Did you hear it? Can you see those guys? Munch, 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 munch. What you doing, Junior? <laughs> he looks funny right now because he's blowing that baby coat. Yeah, what are funny. you silly chickens doing? Why are you out here? Why are you not in your house? Crazy chickens. Crazy chickens. Yeah, yeah. Talking to me. Dirty girls, dirty girls. What are you doing, dirty mama? Hmm? What are you doing? Huh? So get that light out of my eyes. Oh, she is my, she is my hard keeper. This mare, my goodness. What are you guys doing? Huh? What you doing? What you doing, Mama? Hmm? Junior. Muncha, muncha, muncha. Okay, so did the perimeter check. Everything looks good so far. Um... And I think I took you guys along with me, so you get to see. Oh, that's a, in case you're wondering what that is back over there, that is a pellet, pellet stove. Um, because that fireplace over there is more for looks than heat. It doesn't really produce any heat, guys. So one's for actual heat. The other one is for, you know, just pretty. Um, Oh, my allergies. Oh, fun. So, what shall we talk about? Well, I have, now I have wet feet because I went out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to wash my feetsies. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not very pretty. <laughs> Ooh. Do you want to see? It's not pretty. I'll switch the camera around. Oh yeah. Like my mosquito bites, them are attractive too, but I went out there with uh, these little things on my feet. <laughs> not very smart, especially here in Texas, I could get snake bit pretty dumb. I probably won't do that again. Yeah, so wasn't that pretty? I know you appreciated it, right? Okay, so we're gonna do something about that and see I told you this wall has to be repaired if you watched my earlier vlog you guys know that yeah I gotta so what am I gonna do here how am I gonna get this I want to get this junk off my feet so we're gonna go in here and do that <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where should I set you you want to sit on the bed for a while? Yeah, you do, don't you? So, I washed my feet. I feel much better. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to put more lotion on them again. So, you know, you know how it is. Ugh, do something dumb, then you pay the price for it, right? Yeah, that's me. So, anyway, now I'm just waiting for them to dry so I can apply more lotion. I'm sorry I'm wiggling around, guys. Um... There's my card for my phone. Right there. Let's 
see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> um, my hair's still drying. And how do you like all that gray? I let it go. I, I stopped coloring it years ago. For those of for those of you that know me from my old channel, you know the story and why I quit coloring. I think it's really, really unhealthy to color your hair. And so what started to happen to me, well, I know it's unhealthy to color your hair because what happened to me was mine started to fall out from bleaching it blonde to try and cover all of this gray. And I'd rather have all of this gray than none at all. But you can see like the color underneath is still really dark. So like my natural color is, is real dark. You can see that, I'm sure. Right? So it's just like the, you know, the, mo the top right here and some of the sides. It's you know, like if I lift it up like that, it's just like made, basically the crown, you know, you start getting under there. And, you know, there's some darker hair. But honestly, you know, I'm, I'll be 53 here. I'll be 53 here in a couple days. I don't know where time went. I truly don't. I seriously don't. It's like, I swear to God, in my mind, I'm still like I just graduated from high school. In my mind, that's how I feel. That's not how my body feels. Smarter though, you know, a lot smarter, wiser. Um, boy, the old body though, wore out. Did stupid things when I was a kid. You know, if I can give you guys any advice, if you're younger than me, be really careful with your body because it's the only one you got. And when you wear it out, that's it. You don't get another one. It's done. Keep that in mind. So, words of wisdom. Hmm. Well, guys, I don't know. I don't know how long this video is or how long it's going to be by the time I get done with everything. But, it, you know, you got a little taste of um, what it's like of an evening around here with me. And what it's like to be pleasured and pained at the same time. <laughs> I, know, I know, crazy, right? I think, you know what, I think the title of this, I'm going to put something that, you know, people go, oh, is that going to be X-rated? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll put quite a little teaser out there. So, I think this is, I'm going to call it a night, peeps, and, um, because it's, it's, it's pretty late. Um, I didn't do any filming during the day today because honestly, I haven't been feeling very well. My allergies are just through the roof. And I actually slept quite a bit today, so when I did get up to do stuff, it was late, and so I'm gonna have a late night. Right? Late night fun time. Um, yeah. So I think that's it, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Mwah! God bless y'all. Bye now. Bye-bye.